Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. So, honey, it went down earlier today, okay? It's been a whole bunch of mess going on on social media. It's been a lot of fuck shit, okay? 2021 just won't stop, and it's only been 13 days. So, if you guys do not know, King Von's sister, Kayla B., okay? Um, Her and King Von were very close. Her son is who they call grandbaby. That was King Von's nephew that he just spoiled and loved to death. And so basically, she's been kind of beefing off and on with Cuban Doll, and everything just went to a head today. So they took to Twitter and they went back and forth for damn near an hour, just tweeting at each other, trying to meet up to fight. This whole situation was a hot damn mess. I want y'all to go ahead and check out these tweets, check out their back and forth, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. My way, bitch. I had to just go do something, bitch. I just turned around for that ass, baby. Ain't no cap in my game. I don't gotta gather nobody, bitch. I was already out, bitch. You just gathered them people. I'm not fucking slow. All right, so you guys just saw their back and forth. You guys even saw Kayla basically saying she was on her way. She had to, I guess, drop her son off. But she was ready to come and meet up with Cuban Doll at her location in downtown Atlanta. Honey, this entire situation was a hot damn mess. So Kayla ends up getting down there. Cuban Doll is down there. And they both just start fighting. Now, I can't show the fight here. They already done put the fight off my damn Instagram page being on some bullshit. And you know we can't show fights on YouTube. So y'all gonna have to, you know, look for it somewhere else. But they get the fight in and the video is about almost two minutes long. And to me, you know, a lot of people are hyping up this fight. To me, it was kind of dry. I kind of felt like it was more of a tie. They were both fighting. I think Kayla definitely held her own. You know, skinny as she is, she did hold her own against Cuban Doll, who is a lot thicker. Um, but Cuban Doll, you know what I'm saying, she held her own as well. So I don't think it was like where anybody got their ass whooped or got their ass stomped. I think what kind of, you know, made the fight go left is when they started biting each other. Um, all of a sudden, you just see Kayla you know take a bite out of Cuban doll's face like she was a damn zombie on bath salts I'm like damn Kayla slow the hell down this is not Chicago this is Atlanta so she goes to bite her in the face and people are like damn what the hell and then we find out later on the reason why she bit her in the face is because Cuban doll bit her in the damn titty 
you can't make this shit up. So, of course, after that, um, they had both uploaded the video and they're both trying to tell their side and talk about who got their ass whooped and what happened. And Cuban Doll says, you know, she don't have no scars on her face. Kayla says she whooped her ass and she was bleeding. Honey, this whole back and forth was a hot damn mess. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these videos of them talking about the situation. <laughs> check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Keep art with this whole bitch. It is what it is, bitch. You ain't on shit. You a washed up ass rapper. You not on shit, bitch. I come out with some songs and rap better than you, ho. You live with the bitch, Molly Brazy, ho. Bitch, you bitches that be rapping with these blue checks gonna be on shit for real. Y'all hoes got blue checks for no reason because y'all don't got a check. These dials, hoes, it's frauds. Fuck you talking about. You that look key, baby mommy, get your ass up. Telling you what to say and shit. And that little scary looking bitch was standing to the side. But it's cool. Because I'm responding back to DMs now. Hmm. Got something for that is. But bitch, once you're wrong with your face. Bitch, why you walking off limping? 
And all my nails broke off. Yeah, bitch, I'm here, bitch. My bands all 2021. Not the range, the bands. <laughs> Look at my grandma calling. Who told my grandma? Hold on, let me see. Hold up. And the bitch called me ugly. Bitch, your man don't think I'm ugly. Bitch, because he showed in my DM. And bitch, when I was at my hosting, one of my homeboys was on the phone with him. He got on the phone. I got on the phone. He, what kind of be at? On oh, what up, gang? He got on the phone. He, oh, you pretty as hell. Bitch, who ugly? Bitch, don't play with me. The none of y'all baby daddies and niggas think I'm ugly. She started buying me first, and I got to bite that bitch back. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, this bitch buy me. Tato. I just told them that. I swear to God, I just said, you never said you want to fight that bitch. I never said that. I never fucking said that. Her, her people with the fucking cigarette in her mouth started talking crazy, and I'm like, okay, so what's up? I never said I wanted to fight Cuban at the fight. Why would I beat this hoe up at her lowest? Like, let's, let's. Right, bitch, you was tired. You was out of breath, bitch. You got to get carried to the car by your auntie. I'm not about to beat this hoe up. This bitch couldn't even breathe. Oh, she needed a fucking ass to pump around this bitch. The fuck, I look like beating that hoe up. Exactly, bitch. Who next? Lying. What happened? I said, who next, Chris? Who's what? I said, who next? Tell him. Right, so you guys just saw the back and forth once again on social media with them trying to proclaim themselves the victor in this damn fight. You know, Cuban Dolls like, she bit me in the face. She lost automatically. And then, you know, Kayla's like, well, bitch, you bit me in the titty, so I bit you back. I mean, this is, you can't make this shit up. I'm like, you know what, 2021 has been just doing a lot. Now, let me say this. You know, at the end of the day, both of these women are grown. 
you know, they've been beefing back and forth for a while now and they decide to meet up and handle it. OK, great. Y'all done got that out y'all system. Kayla, you know, the Internet is, you know, half of the Internet is crowning her the winner. The other half is crowning, you know, Cuban doll. At this point, I don't care who won. Both of these folks are grown. Kayla has a son. I don't know if Cuban doll has children because I don't check for her. I don't know what she does on social media or why she's famous. But, you know, at least with Kayla, she has a child. So y'all need to do better for the babies. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not cute. And let's not forget the tragedy in all this. You know, while, you know, there were some funny parts. Wow, you know, they threw hands. The tragedy in all this is that her brother did the same thing. He ran up on Quando Rondo, you know, wanting a fair one, wanting to fight him one on one. And he was not expecting for Quando Rondo's shooter, little Tim, to pop up out the, you know, the woodwork and start shooting. You know, so this is where we need to be careful um, with certain things, even with females. You know, how many times have we seen situations where females will go to meet up with another female, you know, wherever, and let's fight it out and let's record and, you know, put this on social media. And then somebody's losing or the person's getting the best of them. And then all of a sudden there's gunplay. I've known females who have gotten killed going to fist fights. So I would just say that I hope that this ends here and they're not going to be traveling all over Atlanta, you know, trying to meet up and fight with each other because what's going to happen is it's going to end up escalating. We don't need any more foolishness or, you know, anything leading to death, especially in the hip hop community. We got enough mess going on. So now let me go ahead and segue into this. If you guys do not know, Roland Ray, honey, he is in the hospital. He is asking for prayers. That man done burnt his damn head. They said his wig caught on fire. I don't know what he was doing for his wig to catch on fire, but he did take to social media to ask for, you know, prayer and things like that. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Um, I got burnt. My wig caught on fire. My Washington Hospital Center. The fire burned my whole skin. Legs, arms, feet, and everything. I love y'all, and I want y'all to keep me in y'all's prayers. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for Kay. Mr. Scorpio, was it for him? I'd be dead right now. Not so much. All right, so you guys just heard what Roland Ray had to say. Now, the messy thing in all of this is that basically... When um, Roland Ray was asking for prayer. So then Young Miami, after she heard the news, she took to her social media page and she said, God, don't play about me. And then she went on to say, always thankful. So a lot of people were really disappointed by that. And they felt the way and they were going in on her. And folks were like, you're weird as fuck for this. Karma's about to play toss the wig with you. And then um, somebody else says he's going to play about you soon. So a lot of the fans were upset. But people also tend to have short memories. Because remember when I did that whole video about Meg Thee Stallion and JT and all them girls getting into it. Roland Ray had jumped in there and he started going at Young Miami and Saucy Santana out the blue. And when they were going back and forth, Roland Ray basically talked about her dead baby's father. So she wasn't feeling that. So then she basically took to social media and she replied back to his threats. And she says, for real, Roland Ray won't even be a fair fight. I'm going to just walk up and punch you in the head. Leave me alone. Then he said, bitch, don't make me call Cupcake. I've been trying to be nice because at that time, Cupcake was, you know, beefing with all the girls and going back and forth in her rap music. So then Roland Ray takes it to the next level and he says, dig your baby's father up, bitch, and tell him how much you turned into a power bluff girl. Bitch, now call Social Security because what you don't know is why you calling Social Security? You didn't tell them when a motherfucking father dies, bitch. Your motherfucking son is put on social security. Yeah. So are you trying to keep coming for the social security girls? Bitch, you on social security your damn self, bitch. You fucking slave. You work for QC, bitch. And you're not even no entertainment, you stupid bitch. You the dummy, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Getting on this motherfucking app thinking you this motherfucker, bitch. And you not. 
You let JT pump your motherfucking head up and I read your dumb ass. And I would smack the shit out of you too. You bluffing ass bitch. A bunch of power bluff girls. You and Santana and everybody else, bitch. What the fuck? Oh. You be on Twitter all motherfucking day. Go take care of your fucking seed, bitch. Go teach them ABCs, one, two, threes. He going on nine months, bitch. Oh, you stupid ass hoe. Then you get shot at when you was pregnant. I should have woke your stupid ass up. Damn, bitch. Everybody ain't playing. And I may be in a wheelchair, but I ain't scared of no motherfucking boy, bitch. Yeah, go burp your child, you stinky pussy bitch. And I said what the fuck I said. And I mean what the fuck I mean. Purr. Stop playing all day. I'm the one, not the motherfucking two, bitch. I've been on this Twitter app since 2011. Fuck you talking about, bitch. You bitches get a motherfucking label behind your motherfucking income and forget where the fuck y'all ass at. You bloody tampon bitch. Stop playing with me, yeah. So I thought that was really low because as we all know, she lost her baby's father about a year ago. So that was just way too much. So she was really upset. So young Miami was tweeting, retweeting people. And this person says, not going to lie, disabled or not, Roland Ray got to get touched now. And then Young Miami says, I swear on my kids, I'm going to make this bitch walk again. Then she says, I'm my dead baby daddy. You, you better hope I never run into you, you retarded bitch. I'm going to spit in your face and make you eat dirt. I'm my kids. R.I.P. at DMV's most famous. So now, not even a month later, he done burnt his damn head. He's out here like damn Michael Jackson at the damn Pepsi commercial. Y'all remember when Michael Jackson burnt his damn Jerry Curl at the damn Pepsi commercial and it took him months of rehabilitation? I mean, that was a hot mess. It seems like maybe Ray was trying to bring back the Jerry Curl because I don't understand what he was doing and how the hell fire got next to his wig. We haven't gotten that explanation. He just asked for prayers. And this is why I say you watch how you treat people and you watch your words. You know, um, I wish him a speedy recovery, but what he did say about her baby's father it's all the way out of pocket so i can see why she's kind of you know sipping tea and not feeling no type of way about him getting burnt so honey like i said today has just been a messy ass day but you know what i'm here for it bitch so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on both of these messy stories honey how do you feel about kayla b and cuban doll meeting up to fight and then last but not least, how do you feel about the drama reheating up between Roland Ray and Young Miami about her basically saying it's karma. God don't play about her. And, you know, a lot of people, you know, kind of being mad at her for that, but then forgetting what Roland Ray said about her baby's father. So this entire situation is messy. Like I said, hopefully, you know, he'll have a speedy recovery. But again, watch the words that come out your mouth and watch how you treat people. So go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure to share the video. And last but certainly not least, make sure you hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.